this is a long, a long fork lever with a really thin handle, and the thin handle <coughs> allows me to get up close and personal to the plate rather than having the arm, arm levered way up here. So this is what I do. I mean, it's just you find some place on the plate. It depends on the piano and where the plates are located, where the plate struts are located. And, uh, and that's it. It's the fingers and the thumb um, in this position here. Uh, find that there. Or if it's not too tight, this is a new pin block here, so it's tight on the pins. But uh, if it's not too tight, I might work here. Totally depends on the piano. And sometimes uh, when there's nothing to work on, I'll work off of the pins. <clears throat> but I never use my arm. Um, that's the left side, the right side, which is quite, you know, it's the same precise thing. So it really doesn't take much ambidextrousness to do it from either side. So it's pushing on that side, pulling on that side. It's, it's whatever you can get uh, way up here. Sometimes it's actually, um, you know, it's actually the hinge pins. It depends on the piano. Normally, I will use the left-sided one because this tends to, in, in the push mode, it tends to flex the pin uh, as you push to bring the pitch up. I usually use this for pitch raising because when I let go, the pin straightens up and I don't have to do any extra movements during the pitch raise. For settling the pin, for actually tuning and settling the pin, I do prefer the right. Um, and this is, this is literally what I do. I mean, look at this. Nothing's happening up here. Zero is happening up here. And this is what's happening. And this is a new block. I mean, this is a new tight block, and it's just really easy. No shoulder whatsoever. So anyway, uh, I did have to um, do some um, trigger point work on my hand and forearms when I first started doing this. But after I got by the initial uh, new muscle uh, use, and after I got the new muscles to the point where they're comfortable doing this, really, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't bug me anymore. But Teeny, teeny, teeny movements with your shoulder, you know? um, and that's it.